Hi everyone. <clears throat> so today our tutorial is going to be for a an origami dress, which we're going to do two different um, versions of it. One, this is a sleeveless one, and we're also going to do one with short sleeves. They are absolutely lovely and they make a large um, display on the front of any card. Um, so let's have a look how these are made. <clears throat> I'm using origami paper because it's nice and thin, it takes a lovely crease. Okay. The ones I tend to use are not directional. So this one's got little hearts all over the place. Um, and it helps when you're just new to doing this. So what we're going to do is to fold it in half. This is six inches square and 15 centimeters. So we've done a fold across. We're going to open it out and we're going to fold the sides in. Hopefully you can do this and just keep stopping the video and work alongside with me step by step. So there we have bits folded to the middle. Now I want to flip it over and I've got a center crease down the middle. Okay, so what I want to do is to open one side and this raised piece here, which we folded, I want to take that only and put it along the fold line. Down it goes. So I'm going to take this bit, let this come out, just take this fold and fold that in. Okay, this gives us a pleat along the back here, so you can see that's there. So we're going to fold it with the, the pattern on the outside. And then this, this is going to be the top of our dress. We're going to fold that back and I'm just leaving a pleat of about half an inch or about a centimetre. So the bit which comes up is the top of the dress. Okay, so it's the waistband. So what we're going to do now is to open out the dress a bit. Now this bit will move. You're going to pull this open so that you can open this pleat here and then just put your finger down. This will have gathered up a bit, so just press it flat. Then we're going to take this side, I hold it at the top, I pull it out and then I smooth it down and then just smooth this bit because that has changed now. Okay, so there it was, open it out and smooth down. Okay. Now this is the one that we're doing um, without any sleeves. So we're going to turn it over. We're going to take this top piece here and we're going to fold that in. And then I'm just going to squash down this bit here. Okay, so on the other side we're folding it in and it starts to lift up this bit. So put your finger down and just press it and you will get this triangle that goes down. Okay, right, so what we're going to do now is to place your finger onto the top of this triangle and I'm just going to do that so that this part here is lying against that fold. Okay, so I take this, turn it so it's lying against that fold. Okay, so now on the front we have the dress opened out and we need to make the collar. 
So to take this top piece here, and if I put my finger where I want the dress collar to go down to, I can open that up and then open that up. <clears throat> I like to allow the collar to come just past the edge of the dress. It looks more natural. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and curve the back of the neck. Now you can go and decorate your dress how you like. Obviously, you can put buttons down the front here. You could take the bottom of the dress and you could take fancy scissors and cut a fancy edge or way round. You have to do this afterwards, not before you make the dress. So there we've got a fancy edge. On this one, if I bring it in, you can see that I've put a little piece of white to cover the collar. So I've got a white collar that's folded back. I've added three pearl buttons. This one I haven't decorated, but it's got a matching collar. This one has got the white matching collar and I've left it like a, a straight edge at the top. This one is a thicker paper. Okay, so um, it is possible to print your own papers. I only use 120 GSM um, as the smallest, as the lightest paper I do, but any copy paper is fine. Okay, so there is our first version of the dress. So I'm going to slide those up there so you can still see them. And we're going to bring in this version that has got um, sleeves that come out exactly the same base to the dress and most of the same folds up to a certain point. So this is the easiest one certainly to have a go at to begin with, but you'll soon be able to progress on to the next one. So we're folding in half, fold to the middle, fold to the middle, turn it over and this piece here you want to take this fold and put that to the middle. Turn it round, take this fold only and put it to the middle. That has given us our um, pleat on the back. Okay, so I'm now going to fold up the pattern on the outside. And fold back about, about a centimetre or half an inch. There's our basic fold, exactly the same as we did for the first one. Then I'm going to take this here and open out the pleat, press it down and press the top. Pull this open. Press down the pleat and press at the top. There's our pleat open. And we're going to now flip it over because here is where it changes. <clears throat> I'm going to take this top bit and I'm going to fold it down and I'm creasing well when I do it. So I've made a point at the top. Okay. Here's where it's useful to take a, an embossing tool or something. Open up that pocket. and. Pull down the bit in the middle because I want to make that, and that open it out and just flatten it. Let's get that point 
né? Flatten it. So it's now like a mouth. So there it was as it was. Hold down these triangles. There, and then open it out and pull down this so it now folds really neatly onto there. Okay, so I decided that as this is a bit more complicated, um, just check on that, yeah, that I'd show you in a bigger form. So Here's our pleat at the top, and we're going to fold down these two top points to make a large triangle. We're going to open that out, and we're going to pull this here. So we're opening it out into a giant mouth, and as we push down, we end up with this diamond shape. Now we've got crease across diamond. So we're going to take the point here, we're going to fold back a large triangle and we're going to place it along that crease and do the same with the other side. So we have our large triangle, a large diamond, fold the triangles down. Now that has given us our v-neck. Go back to the back where we are. This piece here we're going to fold forward. Right. Now as we fold forward this is pulling up this side of the dress so we're going to push that down and it's going to make this large odd triangle. So we're going to take this side here and place it down the side of our pleat. Turn it round, we're going to start pulling this up and as we pull it up, this is quite stiff paper but it does show you it's large. that in and this forms the big large triangle. Fold this edge here down the side of the pleat and there we've got our dress coming together. Go back to the back and then at the bottom of what was our diamond I'm just going to put my finger there and I'm going to fold back these wings and this is making our uh, sleeves for our dress. There we have the dress completed, ready for decoration. So, so I hope that that helps just seeing this in a larger, larger, larger size. So we now have this piece here, which gives us a diamond shape on the top. Now what I do is take the top bit, these are separate flaps, and if you can see this straight line crease across here, I'm going to take that, hold it back so that this edge is going across that piece there. It's going along that crease. So if we turn it round, we've now made the v-neck to the dress. So let's go back. The next thing we need to do is the same as on the first dress, we fold these edges in. I flatten out this triangle here and this slanting edge I'm putting along the side 
of that crease going down there, the feet. So I'm going to turn it round. I'm going to fold this in. Squash down the triangle and take this edge and place it along the side of the pleat. There. So there is my dress shaped. And all I'm going to do now is to take this little flap here, pull it down so that it sticks out the side. And that has made the little um, sleeves on the dress. So you can adjust them to be how big you want. Okay, and then we're ready for decorating. So I can take my scissors and cut all the way along the bottom. So I've got a nice, um, neat edge to my dress. And it's then just a case of decorating them how you wish. So one of the easy ways are little pearls. Oops. One on there. One down on the waistband. And then it's easy to get this one spaced in the middle. There we go. Right. So when you look at these here, I've got a pale blue and a grey. So I'm going to grab myself a pen. And I've got a grey pen. Now I can do a little edge along the sleeves. Yeah. I could do a little edge on the neckline. Let's make that a little bit smoother. There we go. What about if we went just round there? That's pretty, and I think we're going to go for a thinner line as well. So you could add um, ribbons. You could have ribbons around the waist. You could have a little belt around the waist. Let's see if I can do that. Um, I'm going to go and get myself a little bit of grey ribbon, I think, and go across the waist with a tiny little buckle. And I'll come back in a minute with a few more variations. Okay, so I didn't have any grey ribbon in my stash. So what I have done is if I take the white one and I'll take my pen that I've used to draw the um, little lines on and we're going to take this one and I'm going to use some sticky dots. I take the sticky dots there. I'm going to cut those, those on the waistband. Take my ribbon. 
across the waistband there and I can just cut it so it's on the back little bit of tape on the back to hold it Got that one, and we're going to place a tiny little heart there. Has a little white heart here. There it is. So. There's a very pretty little dress and to be honest all we've done is added a little bit of colour to highlight it. So let's bring those back into shot. Right. Here um, it's a little bit dark colour to start adding um, colour to it with a pen. So what I need to do with that is to add, I think, some peel offs. So here I've got some peel offs and I've got some scalloped edge peel offs. I've got some like rick rack. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is to take this one. Yeah. And I'm going to put a little bit along the edge sleeve. Just tuck it underneath so it looks natural. I'm going to put a little bit round the neck of the dress. And I think we'll go across the edge of the dress here. And just let it go down underneath there. Like that. Okay, I seem to have lost the end of the video, um, so I'm going to go back and these were the three dresses that um, we did without the sleeves, so it's just got the v-neck with a collar. Okay. Um, decorations, we've put large pearls down for that, you can use buttons, you can do all sorts, but let's bring in these now. This was the little one we then did with the turn back sleeves and we've added colour with a felt tip pen. We've coloured the ribbon to match and we've just put a little belt with a little um, heart. This one we've used white scallop peel offs. We've gone round the neck, a few pearls down the middle and with the scallop peel-offs, we've put little pearls all the way along. This one, all we've done is added the embellishment like a brooch at the bottom of the neck. And this one, we added just little peel-offs all the way round, scalloped edge along the bottom 
and tiny pearls all the way down. So here's another one ready for decoration. Okay, so there are so many variations and next time we'll be looking at something for the men. Okay, so have fun with the dresses and God bless you all.